Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. Yes, we are at the Jamaica Young Police Channel are all about saving lives. But you know, some lives are not worth saving because they're just parasitic. Yes. Before we begin to do today's video, we want the criminal supporters, enablers, sympathizers, financiers, and beneficiaries to know that we do not want them over here. Yes, we do not want you over here. We don't want your views. We don't want your comments. We don't want your support because we hate criminals with a passion and we do not negotiate with terrorists or want them in our midst. Please go where you are welcome. You are not welcome over here. We don't want you over here, period. If you write anything, we're going to block you. So you have to open and you have to create another account and that's what we'll continue to do. You're wasting your time coming over here and writing all kind of nonsense. Greed is a collection of hate, grudge, impatient, disrespect, envy, bad mind, jealous, and jealousy. When you start separating yourself from the above, then life be begins and become what it is supposed to be. So we're going to tell you today now about Vibes Cartel sends shutters to kill Quarritad and his wife. Yes, Quarritad was one of Vibes Cartel's business partners back in the days. They shot Quarritad. One of the gunmen was killed and the other gunman, the other gunmen, Country Blacks, got away. Let me repeat myself. Vibes Cartel sent shutters to kill Quarritad and his wife. On two separate occasions, they shot Quarritad and one of the gunmen was killed by a police officer who was bodyguarding Quarritad. The other gunman, Country Blacks, got away and he's from Montego Bay. So we're going to start with the first incident that, that they shot um, Quarritad's wife. I don't know how, and you, you cannot, but I, you know, it just boggles the mind and this happened in December 2014. You understand? So we're going to start and tell you about, um, first, you know, we're going to start back. The man who shot and injured the nightclub operator, Quartad, has been identified by the police and said he was paid a million dollars for the hit. Tad, Tad, that's Quartad, was shot at approximately 5 a.m. whilst closing the, the taboo nightclub in Montego Bay, St. James, which he owns and manages. A police officer who was in the company shot and killed his attacker. The police have since released the dead, dead gunsman name as Quarry Grant of 2 Warehouse Avenue, Kingston 2. The man is from Rockford. And guess what? The man's family says that Vibes Cartel still owe the family, owe the dead man money from the contract killing. Can you believe that? They're saying that Vibes Cartel haven't fulfilled his promise to pay Quarry Grant and Country Blacks to kill Quarry Tad because Quarry Grant lost his life and lost a gun. Cops also recover a Glock, 9, Glock 70 9mm pistol from the dead man. The police say they are investigating the shooting as a possible it and the promoter slash businessman. But you have to understand you know, that after in, um, thoroughly investigating the matter, the police were able to obtain intelligence and information that it was a million dollar paid to carry out the crime. So we fast our the wife of businessman Quarter was shot and injured. <laughs> yes. She was shot and injured. She was driving along Mullines Road, St. Andrew near Kennel Drive sometime after 5 p.m. when men traveling on a motorcycle rode up and opened fire. 
it is understand that the vehicle later crashed in a year alone. The woman received multiple gunshot wounds. The police corporate communication unit confirmed the incident and added that the woman was taken to hospital in critical condition. Up to news time, she was still being treated. Police are theorizing that the attempted murder of Quarretard, operator of Taboo Nightclub in Montego Bay, may have been an hit. And the shooting of his wife may be an hit. Both of them were it, and it's coming from the same person, the Vibes Cartel. You understand? So the Tads, they also operate a taboo, are also operate taboo in New Kingston. And it is so sad oh you know, they, you know, they, they shoot this woman. You understand? So, you know, Vibes Cartel, the, the, you know, the business partner of Corey Tads' wife, Shamara, was shot in Kingston. You understand? And she was hospitalized in critical condition after being shot multiple times by a gunman on a motorcycle. Mrs. Tad was driving a Mercedes Benz SUV. One witness told the police that when, when, she, when she pulled up at the intersection between Mullines Road and Kennel Drive, a motorcycle pulled up and a man on the back started firing multiple shots at the police. So this is to show you that you know the police in Jamaica, you know, um, all of this killing with uh, with men and bikes. I want to show you, you know how, how the politicians they are very wicked. You know, we used to have units at Mobile Reserve named Under Squad. That was a brainchild of the late Edward Siaga. Under Squad, you know, uh, Under Squad was a very effective police team. With you have like eight or ten police officers on a bike. But it, they, they, they were like, on any given day, there were like 50 of them in the, um, the Kingston metropolitan area. But they travel in 10. You understand? You will have four, at, four uh, up front, two in the middle and two at back. And they travel in a defensive, offensive way when they're traveling on the road. And they scrap it. The politician, they scrap that bike unit. Because they used to ride Twin Star. I was, they used to ride Twin Star after, and I used to ride Under Night Hawk. It was named Under Squad. They scrapped it. As a detective, I was trained here to ride. Um, you know, I could ride bike, but I was, I was trained and certified. Went and did my, my bike, uh, you know, my bike, my riding test at Swallowfield and get my police license to get a police bike due to you know, they all corrosed and then they wanted to kill me and Bobby Reds. But, you know, we are still here. If the government had implement, did not dismantle this bike squad, all of these killings, all of these killings and shooting with men and bikes, that would be avoided because this bike unit would be out there to counter these gunmen. But they dismantle it so they want people to kill people. I don't know why. Because if you have something that has been working effectively for years, what's the reason for scrapping it? Why they scrap the under squad? Now I see the police them riding green bike. I don't know if it's a JLP. If it's JLP, it, you know, green. You know, green is the JLP color. So when the PMP come in, if I when them come in, it's gonna be orange. You know why they change the police bike from black? Why they change the police vehicle from white? Why they change the police vehicle from black? Why they change the uh, why they change the and uh, the detective vehicle to mark vehicle? Why they don't want detectives to be on the street? So everything has been well calculated by these people, you know, because they are criminals, the politicians in Jamaica. Because this woman, if we had the under squad still, she would not receive one bullet because the under squad, this is how they would operate. Although it's ten of them, you would have four from that sec, uh, direction and then six from this direction so when one pass when they pass each other on the same road the other is coming up in the, in the, um, the other direction so at no so at no time the same road you're gonna have police within minutes or within minutes on the same road and that's how they will patrol you know how many guns and gunmen there is um, the under squad killed in jamaica 
So these police officers, it's not like two or three of them, it was ten. But because these criminals who are politicians in Jamaica, they scrap it. And that's why, um, you know, Shamar Atad was shot. If they had that, that unit. Because what, at Onsby, you know, we had a bike, we had a, you know, a bike, myself, you know, Bobby Reds and me, and I, Bobby Reds and I were, you know, we were on the motorcycle and we did a lot of work. You understand? A lot of work. Because criminals would, you know, don't expect to see detectives on bike until, you know, when it was too late because they realized that, you know, we are not afraid of them. You know, we fight fire with fire. And if you try, if you try to take our life, it's just even Stephen Spearman to strike. You understand? So we we'll continue the journey. So Courtad is an American who immigrated to Jamaica after falling in love with the island's culture. He became a well-known figure in dancehall by his business affiliation with Vibes Cartel. Anyone who affiliated the only two persons so far? Three. Because I didn't even, I didn't even know how Vibes Cartel even went this far. Even since he's in prison trying to get Mad Dog to kill Isaiah Leng. So I'm going to show you the, 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 the photograph of Mad Dog. You understand? And he tried to... Uh, Mad Dog is around Cronit Law and they were trying to use Mad Dog to kill Isaiah Leng. So Isaiah Leng have to be on the lookout for this man, you know. Mad Dog. You understand? So you cannot, you know, back in the days when you were driving your vehicle, you would feel safe in it. Not anymore. But thanks to these politicians, they are the ones that gave the, um, gave the criminals this newfound powers that they can kill people. But... The day is coming of reckoning is coming for them too, you know. But it's unfortunate that a lot of Jamaicans have to lose their life before one of them lose theirs before something is done. Because the under squad should be still there. But they're going to need at least a hundred police officers there to work to rotate it to have it 24 7s Because these people, you know, if the, if they have the under squad, a lot of lives will be saved in the Kingston Metropolitan area. Because that's where these guys are using the bike. Because most of these gunmen, you know, they don't want to die. You, know. you see, anytime they realize they're going to die, they shit up themselves. I am telling you that. Anytime they realize that there, it's lights out. These guys shit up themselves. Yeah, and them all have a small, small vibe in their back pocket. Like them think God is going to protect evil. You understand? So we continue, we continue the journey. So the two launched the new, um, they know this one, Street Vibes Run, an art seller. So we don't know what kind of problem between the both of them, why Vibes Cartel wanted to kill him, but that's how easy. You know? If you disagree with Vibes Cartel and anything, light out for you, he's going to take your life. He's going to get one of his shatter to kill you. So Corita and Vibes Cartel later made peace while the dancehall artist was behind bars in 2011. The two other bitter fallout forcing her to shut down the company. He then interviewed and experienced expression fear over his fallout with the dancer DJ and expressed publicly that he was afraid of losing his life. He knew he, who he was dealing with you know, because this man is this devil himself, you know. So the cops are in, you know said that they're investigating boat shooting but have have no leads so far. So the one that was killed in St. James, that is from Rockfort, the one who ra rode the bike and got away, his name is Country Blocks. Yeah, Country Blocks is the other one. But he was killed later on in Montego Bay by some of by his cronies. And we, we soon get into that. Corey Todd's wife, Shamara Todd, has broken her silence following an attempt on her life by gunmen, while also detailing her robbery by passerby. Shamara Tad, the wife of famous businessman and entertainer Magal Kortad, has broken her silence following gunman attack on her life in Washington Boulevard, St. Andrew. Tad took to Instagram to detail her horrific experience after being shot multiple times by a gunman and crashing into a nearby community. According to the businesswoman, the, f the first set of people that came running to her robbed her taking a large amount of money and jewelry from her person while she was bleeding to death. So you never know, so Jamaican people are some artless people. The same people they may, you know, entertain in a club and you people give them money and this and you know all kind of thing. 
These people are depraved minded people. They did not care if you live or die is what you have inside of your vehicle of value. They would not even attempt to save you. So those who think that you can reform these people, you have another guess coming. Because these people are depraved mind people and you know depraved mind, it go way down to the gutter. So I have no sympathy or empathy for these people because these people are parasites. So Shamara revealed that only one good Samaritan assisted her and had to beg for a vehicle to transfer to her to the hospital. I was bleeding to death and they chose to rob me. I was begging for help and they chose to rob me. They didn't know who I was at the time either. It was just their first nature to rob me, she posted. Yes, Mr. because Jamaican people are some artless people. But you, okay, so you believe that because your husband is popular and you, you know, famous to, and the people are the same corrosing, corrobonkers people in Jamaica, low life, depraved mind people, you know, that um, they're always in your guys' presence and in your club um, party. You tell, you tell that these people love you. Know? These people don't love anybody. They don't love anyone. All they love is what they can get. And they will kill you. You will just feed them and they kill you. But sorry that you learned the audio. And the most important thing, we're happy that you're alive. And if the people on the channel can see now, that's the x-ray from the bullets that, that Shamara Tad had received. A woman. How oh, on God's earth you send man to kill, men to kill a woman because they're trying to get to hurt the other, other, other person that you have a beef with, a disagreement. So no wonder why people now keep um, begging me, asking me where the police read and asking for the address because they say that these people, the entire family, is a parasitic family. The man, the man, the, 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 the baby mother and the, and the children, there should not be no stones leave and turn. But I cannot, in good conscience, I cannot contribute to that. So, your request denied. I won't, I won't supply that address. And I won't tell you where. Yeah, that's why I don't post the video on, my, on, 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 on the YouTube channel. Because some people used to use certain things. They'll be able to get the exact address. And these are the things why people say that they want them. Oh my God, man. Why you send, send men to kill a woman? You have to be a soulless man. You have to be a devil. You have to be Satan child man. You cannot be a normal human being. So how oh, you want to kill somebody, somebody else? Wife. So why, you, why do you think your baby mother and girlfriends must be protected? But you must decide who you want to kill and who to live. It, it, it just sad man, this brother, I want sick brother man The woman said I was begging for help and they chose to rob me They didn't know who I was at the time either It was just the first nature by them to rob me The taboo nightclub outburst seemingly stemmed from person contacted her after the incident claiming to have been injured in the subsequent car crash. You saw them people are depraved. After the woman, you know, survive after the woman gets shot in her almost dead, you know, she was she was bleeding profusely from all these gunshot wounds. And people, they all all corrosed and depraved mind people. They are the same one that harassing the woman now and telling her so all that she would um they get injured from the accident. Lies, you know, all the vehicles run up in that and they want money. You know, so all of you, you know, all of you who are in the diaspora are thinking about, oh, I want to go back to Jamaica to invest. Jamaica is paradise. Yes, it's paradise, but it comes with a price and who you associate yourself with. Because it doesn't take anything for you to lose your life. It's a, it's a good thing that the Tads, both of them were shot in Jamaica. Corey Tad was shot. His wife was shot. So they have to, you know, they have to relocate to the States in South Florida. Because Vice Cartel was held bent on getting them killed. You understand? So, I, you know, you're going to see the picture of the man, Mad Dog, who Vice Cartel, they have paid to kill Isaiah Leng. 
and it's only the grace of God why, why they haven't get born to kill as yet. So it's, it, it, you know, he has three people in his cross here that he claim hell bent and getting them born to killer, Mavada, and Isaiah Ling. And this is this is one of the man, one of the men that he have on his list so, to kill Isaiah Ling. So Isaiah Ling better look out of him four eyes. Because this is one of the killer chronic law. He's around chronic law. You understand? And it's just you, you know you have some criminals, although they're criminal, they have conscience, you know. You understand? So they will you know they will say things because it's not every criminal of conscience, you know, but some of them do have conscience. You understand? And this is a serious thing. Back in August when you know um when Tad was shot um, by the two men on, on motorcycle, you know that they said that the um Corey Tad wanted he, you know he wanted a license fireman, he was denied. You know, he was denied because he's an American, although he lives in Jamaica, have his business in Jamaica. He was denied. And the man is not involved in anything nefarious. But that's how it is in Jamaica. So Vice Cartel sent men. Um, Corey from Rockfort and Country Blocks from Montego Bay to kill Corey Tad. It's a good thing that Tad. So, you know, you, you know what the police I command need to do. You see, all these police officers who are around Chronic Law and Popcorn, those are the police officers that you need to disarm because they are using the government gun to protect these men. And based on the information received out of St. Thomas, the robbery, the attempt robbery, Saturday with Beryllium in Albion. All of those men are aligned to Chronic Law. Chronic Law is the one who is responsible for these men. All of these men are under his wing, including Mad Dog, the one who was supposed to kill Isaiah Leng. I cannot believe that this man is still in prison, planning the demise of other people. This man has to be the devil. So the, 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 the warders, wherever Vive Scartel in the, in the prison, where is that? have to make sure you search him. He's not supposed to have any phone to make any phone call. The man is Satan himself. No, man. Vibes can't tell. Something needs to be done, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know? It's it just heart-wrenching, man. You understand? You know? So, the, you know, the police, they have theorized that the attempted murder of Todd, the operator of the club, have been at it. We know that because... It was at a one million dollar it, and he didn't pay all of the money. Country blocks, um, Corey, Corey that was killed, he didn't get all of his money because the family is claiming that they did not get all of the money, and they want the money that cartel would. I don't know what is wrong with it, what kind of madness with these people. Oh, criminal, criminal, uh, you know, requesting that they pay back money for what is, is what kind of madness this. You know, but if this is the first time to the channel, yeah, just subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost a dollar, a dime, a penny, or a nickel. And it most importantly, it won't clog your phone memory. And remember to like the video so that others can receive it. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.